and welcome back. This is Boss Goodwin, episode of Let's Play Diablo 2. I'm joined, as always, by my paladin and Al Hazir. Now, we're in Lower Caress, which is where we were when we last left off. Uh, but I forgot to mention that, you know, Act 3 pretty much all takes place in one giant town by the name of Caress. Uh, even the where we are at the at the beginning of the at the of the act, I should say. Yes, please go ahead and kill him. Uh, that is the docks of Karasna. And let me just go back to the waypoint here so I can explain a little bit better. Uh, these forests and jungles and all that kind of stuff, I don't know, still part of the city? Kind of. But then once we get to lower Karas, the rest of it, the rest of this is all going to be the main city of Karas itself. Even Travancore, I don't know, that's like the upper district of, of the city. It's the, the wealthy district is what I gather. But I thought that was kind of interesting, kind of wanted to point it out. Let us pick up this skill shrine and head into the Karast Bazaar, where we find Hell Swarms. Awesome. If you guys could die, that would also be awesome, because I do not like you. I do not like you, Hell Swarms. What did you drop? Nothing that great. Super. Now, once again, my strategy for this, uh, for this bazaar is to go along the bottom. Oh, and here we do have a sextant, which heals the Zacharymites. Uh, that is uh, the healer for, for these ones that also has a lightning attack. Like I said, I don't know why I said that there was there was nobody left that, uh, no regular enemies that used lightning. I was clearly wrong. But um, the ones that use lightning aren't, I don't know, I don't want to say that common. But they're not something you need to be concerned about, but I have talked about this way too much. I have other things that I do plan to talk about in case uh, things start getting all over and not this. Today I am prepared! Ooh, chip diamond. Uh, let's actually go up here. These are the first of, uh, I guess you could say, altars? Is that? Yeah, go right in here. Awesome. Uh, Oh, there's a stash right on the altar. Nice. Uh, usually there's like nothing up here and it disappoints me, but these are altars, something like that. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with those. But they're all over the place around here. Once you start getting into the town. Now, like I said, this is uh, all pretty much crossed. No, uh, Sexton all by herself! No, oh, sorry, that was a faithful. Uh, and I believe that is actually an upgrade Zacharumite. I don't believe the faithful are the healers. I didn't get a chance to really see. Now, for whatever reason, I have not been switching uh, to my secondary uh, weapon uh, when I use the Blessed Hammer. I really should. I really should, like this. I don't know if you guys even caught that, but I, I tried to do it fast. It's kind of hard to, to, to do that one quickly. Uh, for me, the way that I have it set up, it'd be... Uh, yeah, I'll try it. It would be W, F2, click, click. Then F1, W, click, click. It's kind of... It's kind of weird to try to think of it that way. But it, because uh, the secondary weapon, of course, has bonus to Blessed Hammer, and then um, also has plus mana to each kill, which I don't have anywhere else right now. I just have a... Uh, what, what do I have? Like, b ethereal? Forget that then. I have uh, regenerate mana up, but nothing that really gives me a bonus t to mana per hit, per kill, anything like that. Uh, no, the faithful do not heal. Uh, the faithful do come in white and red, apparently. They have different color combinations. We need to head this way. Uh, that is one thing that I hate that they never put in, is that the uh, the blue and yellow... Um, blue and yellow items, they never... They never show that they're ethereal. You know, you could have put like a faded blue, a faded yellow, and I could have figured out, oh, it's ethereal without needing to pick it up, but they never programmed that in. That would have been nice. That would have been nice. Damn! Yeah, I didn't switch there. I didn't switch. It's kind of hard to, to remember to do that every time. You know what I mean? Does it tell me to go away? Now I don't remember what I'm on. I'm on, I'm on my secondary, damn it. There we go. 
That's what I wanted to do. That sucks. That's no. Didn't have anything on it. Where is Al Hizir? Oh, he's he's inside a building. Glitched out of his mind again. Right, let's open these up. So one of the things I wanted to talk about today, because it is starting to get all monotonous here. Uh, I was on the the freeway today, and I saw a sign. You know, one of the 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 big. Uh, LED signs, you know, usually they have like amber alerts or traffic reports on there, but it was a clear day and apparently nobody had been kidnapped, so uh, they just had a sign on there that said reminder. I don't think it actually said reminder, but it was a reminder and it said that texting while driving, um, they didn't even say texting, they said uh, handheld cell use, as if there's any other cell use. I mean, I could, I guess you could plug it into your phone or whatever, but still, you know what I mean? It seems kind of redundant. Uh, the fine for that, the fine for a handheld cell use, $1,594. Now, I had two reactions to that. Number one, that'll serve people for texting on the road. Uh, number two, wait, $1,600 for a damn text message? Like, because it, it didn't even say text message, just cell phone use, pretty much. If you if you hold your cell phone in your hand while you are driving and you look down at it, $1,600. And I'm kind of like, that's kind of bullshit. Like, I don't do that on the freeway, but, you know, every once in a while I'm at a red light something, I'll check my phone, what was that text that I got? I, won't re I don't usually reply. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, every once in a while you look down, it's not like I'm causing any really danger. I'm stopped. And I know that the light's gonna take a while anyway. Might as well take a, take a look and see what that, that text message said. I know I'm a horrible person. But apparently that's $1,600? It seems a little excessive to me. And the other part of me is kind of like, well, I mean, I, I understand that if you uh if if you're texting somebody and you get into a car accident and you kill the person yeah sixteen hundred dollars isn't even close uh to to what that person's life would have cost you know what i mean that's not what their well not cost uh that's not what their life was worth it was it was worth so much more than that but still that one Good day. that one kind of bothered me i understood both sides of the argument i'm like but sixteen hundred dollars do you even get that for for driving drunk sixteen hundred dollars what do you got? Yeah, that's a tough one. I'm gonna stick with what I got. That one was close. Uh, th it seemed, you know, it just seemed both uh, excessive and not excessive. I think the problem is that it doesn't specify what exactly what exactly you need to do in order to get the $1,600 fine. I think that was the problem that I was having with it. I was like, you know, are we talking about somebody that's on the phone? Are we talking about even looking down at your text message? Just just to glance at it to make sure you know what's going on? There have been times when I had to drive for hours to a meeting. And if I got a text from, uh, from the office saying, you know, we need to reschedule, I would have liked to have known that, but you're telling me since I'm driving, I can't even look down to see, you know, what the the text message said. I have to I have to go all the way there or stop or something like that. I don't know. I mean, there's ways around it, but it, I, I would just like a little more specificity on what it is I can and I cannot do in, with my phone in a car because there are more distracting things in a car than, than looking down to glance at your cell phone. Uh, I mean, hell, changing a CD takes me for damn ever. Uh, these lead to the sewers, that is where we need to go. Um, but there are so many entrances to the sewers that I'm just going to uh, go up to the top and then go into one of the entrances up there. So many entrances to the sewers. It's ridiculous. I think there's six? Something like that. So I'm not too concerned about which one I go into. I have no idea which one is going to have the, the treasure chest in it. Uh, I know that the sewers are actually huge and they have two floors. Sewers might take me a couple videos to be honest with you. They're just so damn big, so damn convoluted. They are, they are nearly uh, maze-like. Not quite a maze all to themselves, but still. 
nearly maze like. Thawing potion, not worth it. Tower shield, I don't think we have seen before. So let's take a look at that. That's what that looks like. It's not that great. I don't have enough strength to use it anyways. Uh, but it is for all classes, not just uh, not just paladins, which is nice. Uh, but the paladin only shields are, are very nice. Uh, speaking of paladin shields, I did try to go for a uh, a rune word on my on my multiplayer character uh, using a paladin shield. Uh, paladin shields do not count as shields in this game when it comes to rune words. If you have a rune word and it requires a, a shield, it just says shield. Don't use paladin shield. I found that one out the hard way. That one sucks. Ooh, an Aaron shield. How good are you, Aaron Shield? 26, 52, but no resistance bonuses. So I do not care. I don't care. But yeah, the uh, Paladin Shield, it, that one that one kind of made me mad. It, it was supposed to be a really good rune word, too. It required four sockets, and they're just like, <laughs> not a really good shield for it. I had to save up, get, wait forever to get all the right runes, and they're just like, ha, no. Damn you, game. I forgot to go up here. Right, eventually, I will be going over this way. I see there's a dungeon over here. Let's go ahead and go in there. Here we go. Where does this lead? To an armor stand. And the disused Fane. I don't know what a Fane is. But it's kind of like a crypt, apparently. And we have more spiders now. I said before that the beetles were gone forever. <laughs> this is where they might show up again. They have a chance. They're not always going to be here, but they have a chance, and I forgot that they had a chance to show up here in these small little dungeons. They are not big. It's not something you need to worry about, but they could be here. Are you serious? Go away, you damn poison. This is what I'm talking about. They don't put any kind of, any kind of hint how long the poison's gonna last, how much damage it's going to be doing. They don't tell you anything about these poisons. And they really should. I still have it. These guys don't poison. Let's see how long it lasts after after I take care of these guys. Yeah, I still got it. Remember, I still have these gloves. Poison length reduced by 75%. And I still have this poison. Ooh, a scepter. Nice! Plus three to blessed aim. That is not bad. Now it finally goes away, so imagine four times that. That is what you can have on you if you don't have my gloves. Ah, poison this game. Poison... Poison will send you back to town many times. We got flesh hunters though! I hunt flesh. <laughs> I'm not nearly as successful as I assume these women are. Uh, scroll of identifying. There we go. I'll take that. And... Oh, now I get the experience run after I've killed everything. Thank you! Hopefully there's something in here. There is! So no beetles in here. I am happy about that. How did I miss everything with my hammer? Why did the game lag on me for a second there? That's... That's not good. I don't know. Computers just don't seem to like me today. Like, YouTube is downloading maybe half speed. Uploading has been about half speed for a while now. See, you keep freezing on me, game. Make me want to go back and check that everything's still being recorded. I don't know if I can trust you, game. I don't know if I can trust you. And up here... Is this... Yeah, this is just a regular dungeon. To the Ruined Temple we go! Oh, great, we've got Night Lords. Weren't they called Night Lords before? I don't think they, those are technically an upgrade, but they're bad. Those douchers. Oh, there was also a special in there somewhere. Luckily, I'm still able to, to wreck house, so I don't care too much. I uh, probably picked up a couple things there that I didn't want. Uh, no, I didn't pick up anything, actually. Didn't I kill everything? Oh, man. Uh, don't even need to heal. I don't need to heal. Uh, nothing. Nothing really. I'll take the scroll of identify. Apparently I won't take the scroll of identify. Let's go this one. 
Everything must die. I gotta sell on bodies apparently. Everything must die. I still don't need to heal. Damn, I've been kicking ass and taking names. Fortunately, one of those names is a portal back to town. So let's go ahead and use that. Because I got no room. Damn it, I forgot that that was empty stone. But I still need to heal. So we might as well Stay go ahead and take care of that while we're here. Yes. Ta da, heal. Really? And so for crap. Oh, this one's even worse. And it was blue, damn it. It was blue. Yeah, plus 9 defense, plus 12 to life. Uh, that one's close. That one's close. Plus, and I'd rather have the strength bonus because that's going to give me more damage. Half freeze duration. Do I have? I already have half freeze duration, so I'd rather get the 19% bonus right now. If I didn't have that, I'd probably switch. If I didn't have these boots, I'd probably switch that, to be honest with you. And then this sells for max. Awesome. Give me the money. I like money. What do, you, what do we got in here? We got enough. <laughs> get up to a fl uh, flawed emerald again. And this is how your inventory begins to stack. You just start to fill up real fast because you get two of each of all, all, uh, all the different kinds of gems, two of each of all the different kinds of runes, and all of a sudden I don't have room in my inventory anymore. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Okay. Let's go talk to Hratley and then we can move on. I, I've kind of given up. We're, we're too far in Act 3 for me to uh, check them for for equipment anymore. There could be a War Scepter that, that Ormus has that I want, but I'll take my chances with my Grand Scepter. But the War Scepter, I eventually do want to find a good one. Heavy crossbow I'll take. Let's open up all these stashes. Just loners all over the place. Flawed Topaz, you guys, like, seriously, you guys should really be in a group, it really does help me kill you faster. Uh, plus I hear it's a better strategy. Ooh, Lime Essence Tome. Okay, well that was crap. That was a horrible read. I, am I don't have room for that already. Now I do. Quest. Talk to Alcor. Really? We gotta talk to Alcor again? I was just in town. Did not see that there was a book in here. So let us head this way then. To a chest with nothing in it. Thank you, game. That was required. Let us head over to this side. Hopefully there's at least an enemy or something. There are enemies that have been poisoned. Why do the spiders not care that I am here? You're just like, what? I don't care that you're here. What is on the... I want to know what's on the trident. I really do. I, I will drop this. Is it... Three sockets. Three sockets. What do I got? No, I need a two or a four. Okay, well, just a two. I can't do the four right now. I can't really even do the two, but still. I'm close to the two, so. I want two sockets on it. Damn it, two. So we are done here in the ruined temple. Uh, so this is the optional side quest, uh, not side quest, optional quest of uh, of this act. Seriously, like freaking Tetrising all around. Am I still poisoned? Yay, more poison resist. Not that I really needed it. Um, yeah, this is gonna go over here. Yeah, that's good. Uh, t now I can pick up this, which is what I wanted to do in the first place. Plus one each! Okay. That's good enough. Plus one to three different things. I have no idea if they're good or not. Anything... Come on. Thank you for giving me something. Healing potion and gold. That's not exactly what I was looking for. Not exactly... Oh! Almost missed that stash. With an Ith rune! Good thing I did not miss that stash. That was the best thing that I've gotten this entire session and I almost did. missed it. <laughs> Uh, what else I want to talk about? Oh, the other thing that I wanted to talk about. Nah, I can't tell to the sewers. It's not that big of a deal. Let's grab all this gold. We are nearly done here in Karas Bazaar, if I remember correctly. We should be near the top. Can't go much longer. 
Uh, still Zachary Marks and Sextons. As you might expect, there's the top, I told you. So now we can just finish up this top level, head down into the sewers, and then we can uh, continue on with plot-ish. I say ish because, well, plot kind of happens very slowly in this game. Now, where is the way up? Okay, it's not over here. Oh wow, I was really close to the top of the other side as well. I, I end up going pretty much zigzag through this place as much as I try not to. Uh, these guys, the, the sextons don't heal very well, to be honest with you. They do teleport, and they do cast lightning, but their healing abilities are limited. Damn you, I hate you. Alright, scroll town portal. The shield. No, I don't have it. I don't. I don't have the stuff for it yet. So I will wait. The rune that I have for that one is uh, is pretty high up there. Pretty high up there. There we go. There's a group of enemies. Did I not launch a blessed hammer? Thank you. I ended up using two. Probably one more than I needed, but two is fine. Oh, come on. Thank you. You take care of her, and I'll I'll just be over here. Right way over on the other side. Okay, so let's head into the nearest, uh... The nearest entrance to the sewers, which is right over here. Whoa, 